So I've been told if you don't make this dish for Lunar New Year, you've got a doomed year ahead. Well, we can't have that now. I'm going to be showing you how to prepare a whole steamed style seat bass with Cantonese style, Chinese style, and it is one of my favorites. I make this every year. I actually, it's so simple, I actually make it midweek too. So let's crack on. First of all, you'll need a sea bass. You can also use like a sea bream or you can even use a fish fillet. But the whole point is that we're doing a whole steamed fish and I'll tell you why in a second. So you're gonna want to get the best quality fish you can get hold of, organic, line caught, um, go to a fishmonger's and what you're looking for is check the gills if they allow you. Uh, you want to have them nice, bright red. That means it's been caught fresh and it's going to be the best quality because when it's steamed, it's hard to mask um, a not so good quality fish. So you want to check the breams. They already cut out the gills in this one. They very kindly gutted it, as you can see. Might give this a little gentle wash to remove a little bit extra of that blood there. You can ask your fishmonger to do this, but mine didn't have time. Just trim off is actually what you, I think you learned in culinary schools called dressing the fish, um, where we're removing all these extra fins from the top, the side, and underneath, just like so. Let's use some good kitchen scissors. And what I like to do is just trim the tail slightly, just out of habit in culinary school. So preparing the fish is very, very simple. We've dressed the fish and just set that aside now and next up, I'm going to slice up some ginger and spring onion for the topping. So with the ginger, just grab a spoon. And we're just gonna peel the ginger. Because the curve of the spoon perfectly matches that ginger. So you can get, you can take off a lot of that skin without taking, removing a lot of the ginger itself. This is one of those dishes that my family absolutely adore. This is actually, it's a whole steamed fish. It's actually what I used to eat more of when I grew up because predominantly I grew up on Asian food rather than Western food, even though I lived here in England. Like steamed fish, rice, herbal soup, that is kind of like a normal for me. So this is one of these dishes that really means a lot to me. It's great that you get to eat it and have it on Lunar New Year because it's just delicious. And it's so simple to do. So I got my peeled ginger and what we're gonna do is make matchsticks out of it. These two rough little knobs, hee <laughs> hee, will go into the fish. So I'm gonna save those for later. I'll put those there. And then these thin slices, we're gonna make into matchsticks. So lay them on top of each other like so. You can do it in smaller piles. And then just finely slice it into matchsticks, just like so. So just set that aside. Next up, we're gonna slice some spring onion. So lob the ends off. Totally missed the bin there. And then slice down the middle. Keep these green ends. And just a little trick is to get really nicely, nice cut pieces. Again, just like the ginger. Lay it on top of each other. Like so. Next up, let's slice up a tomato. Why am I using a tomato? Because I love the sweetness that a tomato gives when you steam a fish. It's almost as if it gives, it just imparts this lovely sweetness to the inside the fish. And also it helps raise the fish off the plate when it's steaming, so it kind of gets a bit more steam all the way through. But I just mainly because I love the sweetness and I think my mum put it in there because we'll get more vitamin C. Take your sliced tomato. Put it underneath the fish. One inside. 
Then I'm going to take the rest of the garnish that I've got here. So let's put in some of that ginger. Those little knobs. And then next up, we want to season the fish. Just a bit of salt all over. Get your hands in there. I'm going to dress it with our matchsticks. Being quite liberal here. And next up, we're going to do a little splash of cooking wine. This is just my preference. It just imparts this lovely flavor in the fish. Okay. Now we're gonna steam the fish. Like with everything, you need to make sure you've got a wok big enough because size does matter in this case. So I'm using a high-sided enamel bowl that's big enough to hold the fish because it is going to steam and have a lot of liquid and that's going to fit perfectly in this wok. Next up, we're gonna add in the water to the wok. And if you'll notice, I've got a metal stand in there. You can get these at any Southeast Asian supermarket, Oriental store, online, Amazon. I'll link it into the description. If you don't have one of these stands, you could actually wrap up some foil into like a coil and that could act as a base. Or you could do this in a bamboo steamer. It depends on whatever you've got. So I'm gonna pop the fish in and close the lid. So depending on the size of your fish, it will vary in terms of how long it will take to steam. So that water has now come to a rolling steam and that's quite an average organic sea bass. Um, it will take about seven to 10 minutes at most and I'll check it after that amount of time. Now I'm gonna make the dressing. It's really, really simple. Bowl. I'm gonna do, that's, that's not a tablespoon, that's a tablespoon. A tablespoon and a half of light soy sauce. Shouting wine, so cooking wine. About a tablespoon. A teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of sugar. i go a little bit more. And then I got a little bit of this ginger and spring onion left over. I'm going to lob that in. All right, I've got a couple of the spring onion ends. I'm gonna put some of that trim in there as well to give it a bit more flavor. Then a couple of tablespoons of water. I'm just gonna give it a gentle whisk and put it on a very gentle heat to dissolve that sugar and salt. Simmering away nicely. I'm just going to slice up a little bit more of this spring onion just for garnishing. I love cooking this dish because it's one of my sister, like I said, it's one of my sisters and I's favorites. Wouldn't just have the fish on its own, we'd have maybe like rice, a herbal soup, a stir fried broccoli and beef dish, and especially for Lunar New Year, there would be a feast of different dishes on the table, all representing something. So that is also why getting a whole seam bass, so head, tail, everything left on, is really important because it signifies prosperity and abundance and wealth for the next year. So if you're missing the head and the tail, essentially you're not gonna have as much as you'd hope for for the year. So it's important to have the whole fish. And we'd always fight for the cheek because let's be frank, like the cheeks are the best part of the sea bass because they're juicy, they're flavoursome. And yeah, we'd always have a little scramble between us who got it, who's been good that year. Not me. Let's check on the fish. So you can see there, the fish is steamed nicely. It's gonna give it a little poke. It feels a little firm. I think it could do actually a little bit longer. 
It's not been quite seven minutes yet. Right, while that is cooking, another thing that I absolutely love about Nunu Nia is the snacks. I can't get enough of them, especially these little biscuits. There's so many biscuits and cookies that we have out for Lunar New Year's gifts. Pineapple tarts is one of them. Now we make these all by hand at home. I remember one year, <laughs> mum wanted to help me out making pineapple tarts for May May. And I think we had thousands in the kitchen and it was just a bit of a nightmare, but delicious nonetheless. So pineapple tarts, it's like pineapple jam that's really stewed with spices. And then it's in this really crumbly, but a little bit of bite. Mm. All right. Now, if you haven't got one of these handy contraptions, you can get them again online. And what it does is help you grab the side of the plate because that's going to be scorching hot. So next up, we're going to dress and finish this fish. Now, a lot of people discard this stock underneath because they say it will be bitter. I think it tastes delicious. That's not bitter at all because I've got really nice fresh fish. I'm just going to pour it just to the side here. I'm just gonna dress with a bit more of this spring onion. And I'm just gonna pour over the top that lovely dressing that we just made. Now just to cook off some of that spring onion, the garlic and really almost like release some of that flavor and more aromas i'm going to heat up a little bit of oil you can use peanut oil you could use rapeseed oil like me and a couple of tablespoons is fine i'm going to heat that up until it's smoking hot but your oil is smoking hot please be careful at this point i'm going to pour it over the spring onion and ginger I'm just going to finish it up with some fresh coriander. And there you have it. it. Is a whole steamed fish in less than 20 minutes. It is smelling glorious in here. And that is Lunar New Year worthy. I can't wait to dive into this. Luckily, it's just me on my own, so there's no fighting. Mm. Just taste that sauce and it's delicious. Now, this is the bit the juicy bit that I tell you about earlier. So you've got this bit here. This is the cheek. And you'll end up with this lovely moist bit of meat. That was delicious. If you're a Die Hard fan, you can maybe even suck on the eyeballs, but maybe another day. But you can tell when the fish is beautifully cooked. Let's push some of this veggie off the side for a little bit. I always make sure there's plenty of ginger and spring onions so that everybody can get a little portion. I'm going to break into the fish. So just along the top here, I'm gonna break it like that. And then the meat should just push off if it's perfectly cooked, like so. Look at that. It should just fall off the bone. Whoa. And traditionally, you always serve the elders first out of respect. My favorite bit will always be around the belly and these beautiful fillet pieces on the top. And you can take out the bone. Look how clean that came out. And that is our whole steam sea bass. You wanna make sure you get a good dollop of that sauce. And I guarantee you, if you make this for Lunar New Year, this is going to make everyone's day. I hope you really enjoy it. Leave us a comment if you're celebrating Lunar New Year. What would you expect on your table? What are you gonna be making this year? We'd love to know. And I hope you all have a really lovely week and I'll see you next week. Gong hei fat choy. That is glistening. That is a fresh fish. My fishmonger's done me proud. Mmm. The spring onion and the ginger is just such a nice like tang to it. So yummy. I'm gonna have to have the whole fish, so I'm gonna have to cook another one for you still. Mmm. That meat is just falling apart, but it's still got a really nice texture to it. I love sea bass.
because it's got this wonderful sweetness to the flesh. But I also love using sea bream, if I can get hold of it. Um, this dish doesn't really work if you've got mackerel or like an oily fish. It has to be like a white fish, whole fish. And I know this varies from all the different audio, like it varies from where you are living. So just get a, make sure it's just a lime caught um, fresh fish you can get. Mm. 